All right, you guys, as I was saying, I was talking about uh, this book, uh, Bangkok Days. This is going to be a two-parter. Um, talking about this movie, uh, or this book, Bangkok Days, uh, A Sojourn in the Capital of Pleasure. And what I was talking about is uh, kind of the uh, differences, between, or uh, how we got a, a broad perspective of the city um, by being with both the, uh, the money class, the aristocracy, and uh, also living... He lived a while in sort of like the lower middle class, like the, uh, uh, you know, uh, not really slum apartments, but you know, like like apartments that are like just kind of one room apartments, kind of foreigner slums, maybe like a lot of prostitutes live there or whatever. Um, but uh, he also, he never lived here, but he also went to the true slums, like the uh, shanty towns. Um, we kind of talked about that for a while and visited uh, a Catholic uh, a mission there, which if you read a book that says a sojourn in the capital of pleasure, you never think that a good chunk, not a good chunk, but maybe like two chapters of the book are going to be about uh, uh, foreign missionaries in the country and um, preaching to some of the poorest people on earth, these people that live in the slums. And a lot of them are like drug addicts on like uh, uh, amphetamines or different kind of uppers that work uh, manual labor jobs like in the uh, fish processing plants and stuff in the city um so yeah uh i don't know i guess what, what are some there are just so many stories in here that are so good uh the night walker the white house oh yeah he talks about you know like he was in a hospital for a while, and this crazy German that uh, uh, had sex. Oh, one of the stories that I thought was really funny. Okay, so like, uh, I'll first tell you this: his roommate uh, called actually called a prostitute into uh, a prostitute he had previously seen, uh, the German, not the author, um, into his hospital bed to uh, have have sex with him, and that's kind of gross, but you know, kind of par for the course, I guess. Uh, but the part that I found really funny was um, in the uh, lobby of the uh, hospital. Um, you know, okay, so if you're in the hospital, you're getting uh, IVs injected by nurses, you're being seen by doctors, um, you're having the medical staff treat you. Well, in the lobby of the hospital, they actually have a bar, uh, like, a, like a big bar. And it's not a, a bar for relatives of... Uh, the patients of the people in the hospital. It's actually a bar for the people in the hospital themselves. And as long as you get an okay from your doctor, you can go down there and you know, drink it up. And that, that's cool enough as it is. But what's really insane is that this is a themed bar. And the theme of the bar is like nurses. So <laughs> like your wait staff will be dressed in like sexy nurse garb. <laughs> to serve you drinks when you're a patient in the hospital I don't know it's just uh, uh, <laughs> it's stories like that that are just like man this is a different different mindset and not not necessarily something that I would not enjoy I, I would certainly if I was a uh, patient in that hospital and I was given the okay I would go down there it, it isn't like a girly bar or anything it's just like regular host this bar I guess you'd say but I go down there and uh, get a couple drinks uh, okay so I don't know how to promote this story anymore but it's a uh, it's a great story as I said it's one of the best ones that uh, I've read uh, 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 over the course of uh, doing this series so I recommend you check out it check it out too from uh, Bangkok Thailand Lawrence Osborne the name of the book is Bangkok Days, A Sojourn in the Capital of Pleasure. All right, you guys, uh, this talking about this book has just put me in a good mood. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you later and uh, keep watching. All right, bye.